about, you know, I, I know most of y'all know about the power of agreement, but I don't think y'all really understand the stipulations of agreement. You know what I'm saying? The, okay, yeah, you know, if you come in agreement to something, you know, it's a powerful bond. You know, just as, like, I try to keep telling people about uh, Adams is supposed to tell us the reality of, of agreement. You know what I'm saying? Um, that you need two protons and a neutron to create the function to, to come in agreement to create matter. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and they must come into one agreement. Each proton and neutron has to come into one. You need two protons and neutrons to come together. Proton, neutron, proton, neutron, to create a matter. Very important to understand that idea. And to create, but to create what is the very important question. Create something that is going to help better people or create something that's going to help bitter people um wow it's amazing uh this logistics need to be understood because if it's created to more likely bitter somebody bitter people's lives um i think we need to know the important logistics of that information uh, thing is, a lot of people don't, now, me learning, I saw Satan's plan, whole plan strategy that he did, you know, like I did a message on teaching people about the dominion, uh, you know, understanding the dominion factor that Satan was getting people uh, ever since, you know, Adam and Eve, getting humanity to surrender their dominion to him, that he can get more permission from God to do what he's doing right now, to have more permission to hear, like you hear in news, this person killed this person, this person uh, raped this person, all this sin going on, everybody busy looking at, of course, flesh and blood. They think, oh, flesh and blood, you know, this person's evil, this person. No, it's the, it's the, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers and rules of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. People don't understand to what extent the dominion. God told me about the like the generational curse or concerning or you know like the scriptures talks about that you know to generation to generation. And a problem is what people don't understand that people are coming out of the womb dealing not just with the blessings of their mother and father and also the curses. And a problem is the way the dynamic of how they were lined up concerning their chromosomes, they will manifest more maybe the cursed part to their mother and father or the more blessed part. Or it's just a balance between certain people. But the problem is when people, you know, uh, uh, come into this world, that's where they're confused. Am I this kind of person? Am, am I that kind of person? And the thing is, but they don't, they're not sure, but the system because we live in a dark world, is trying to sway people to believe their negative nature more than a positive nature. And to keep the believe it more so you can come into agreement on, you know what I'm saying, the negative. They want you to come in agreement on your negative na nature part and, and surrender your dominion to them. And what happens is when you come in agreement with it, Something gets established. A dominion gets established between with Satan. And Satan uses your dominion to get permission from God. That is just amazing. Uh, it's like permission from God, just like he needed permission to harm Job. You know what I'm saying? He can get permission from God. God to um do whatever he wants to not to do, not just to do to you but due to your generation and your next generation. That's what the thing about God was trying to teach concerning the children of Israel about uh, sacrifice, uh, making sacrifice, you know what I'm saying, and preserving the this, this sabbatical, or or they call it the uh, Shemitah, sacrifice cycle of seven years, you had to keep up with that sacrifice, because that sacrifice was supposed to maintain 
peop the people to gather the dominion to fulfill their purpose to be made in the image and the likeness of God. Matter of fact, the Shemitah started with Cain and Abel. And Cain and Abel, you know, you know, Cain, you know what Cain did to the Shemitah, you know, <laughs> killed the you know brother that was keeping up with it. But uh, that's another message. But the thing is, this because of Satan know the ground game concerning the kingdom of God, and of course the the the, the Jews screwed up, and now the church, the Christians are screwing up the the uh, the dominion. Um, and the dominion is simple. Follow instructions concerning God to as much based on because. The instructions is about unity. You know what I'm saying? God's instructions will always be parallel to something about unity. Because what happened to the Jewish people is, of course, King Solomon. When King Solomon left, you know, he divided, he severed the kingdoms of Israel. You know, and Rehoboam and Jezre, you know, Jeroboam. And that's when the process of Satan, when that division came, Satan now can participate in darkness and stopping the children of Israel from fulfilling their purpose. And he's doing the same thing with the church. Oh my God. It's just this the denominations. Here we go again. Dividing the power. Now, as much that the church don't realize, as much as you in a uh, division, as much as God cannot be as much effective in doing what he does. He's Jesus said it, Matthew 12 and 25. If any kingdom divided against itself shall not stand. I mean, divided is not in a position of agreement. And as much as these churches are divided concerning the building aspect of it and not trying to unite concerning being made known as a body, as much as the Satan can have more dominion to cause all the conflict and chaos he, he can ever do. And everybody, like, you know, like I was talking to a, you know, person, and I told him about, you know, Bruce, gender, you know. Uh, look, I, I have no, I have no beef with, I have like, I have no beef with this guy. I mean, I, I'm not getting mad at him doing something like that. I'm getting mad at the power source, the people that are supposed to be delivering him from what's going on in his life, uh, not coming together. You know what I'm saying? I have a problem with the church. My, 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 I don't, I don't have a problem with sinners. You know what I'm saying? Sinners are not my problem. You know what I'm saying? Concerning ministry, my problem is the source, the light source that's supposed to be following the orders of the Word of God and doing what it says. You know, you do what it says. It cuts on the light. Darkness flees. The end. That's how it's supposed to be concerning the kingdom aspect. But you know, the thing is, I hear people, they say, I'm on the kingdom agenda. I'm on the kingdom agenda. I don't hear no ideal of unity, you know? Uh, you encouraging more unity in ministries, you know? I don't hear you coming to telling, you know, Christians, let's all come together and, you know, let's let's uh, uh, do something. Let's sing, let's, let's do something together. You know what I'm saying? You trying to uh, uh, encourage Christians, let's do come together and do something, unite into something and come together. You know what I'm saying? And you know, and I'm like, you know, you know, y'all watch the television, you know, television uh, evangelists, you know, wh why they're not trying to come together? Why is they're not trying to come together and unite and say, look, Christians all across the world, we need to come together, all of us, you know, all of them come together and unite and say that we are of Christ and we stand upon his word and we stand upon his truth and we are the body of Christ and we're going to, you know, represent, we're going to be about standing on the word of God and we're not going to participate in the worldly things that are going on in this country that is contrary of God's word and we are going to be the light that shines, shines from darkness. Why they're not encouraging unity? You know what I'm saying? They're not controlling. Because, hey, that's for you to ask the question. You know what I'm saying? Where's the unity? Where is the spirit of unity? Where's the spirit of faith that is in the scriptures? Ephesians 4, you know? 
That's the problem. It's a unified problem. And the thing is, and it's all, and that's what creates matter. When these protons, these neutrons, come together uh, in agreement, they create matter. Something matter that matters, that it will do something and make a powerful uh, uh, impact. And that's what the church is not driven to do. They're driven to be individuals. I call them the I ministry in 1 Corinthians uh, 13, 1 and 3. They're trying to be I ministries and not the body of Christ. And that's what move needs to be made right now. But the problem is people believe, and now watch this, people believe like these preachers, preachers, you can have a seedly, a bundly, a bobo, you can ask for it, you can bless, you can speak to the mountain, and you can do, no, there's a, not accordingly. See, that's what you can, got to understand the word accordingly is what you got to understand. That, you know, you wonder why I pray for this, I pray for that, and it didn't really come out, and it didn't really bless, it didn't come out, the outcome didn't, the power of God didn't interfere. It can, the power of God cannot come out in a divided system. You, you only can work with accordingly as a little, as much according to your faith and according to you obeying God's word and coming to the unity of his word and that's how it can make an impact it ain't gonna God is not gonna be this genie in a bottle that y'all think that he he going he should be you know what I'm saying oh my mother's sick oh no you and, and he needs a healing or oh, this person needs healing we gotta get in unity we have to come in the unity of the word of God if you need to uh, be a protester if you really about Jesus Christ and his because I keep telling people that the kingdom of God is in order you know what I'm saying it's following orders concerning the king it's not being king and say this I say this and I say that that's not what it's all about creating you know your own kingdom is following an order that you know uh, that if you follow the orders of this power of this commandment you will be in power it's not let me go. How you doing? Let me go build my kingdom, and and somehow God's gonna, Jesus is gonna participate in it. That's not how it's supposed to be done and managed concerning dominion and king's dominion. That people are not understanding and wonder why everything is going bad because you're not following instructions. You're cre as religion is all about creating its own instructions operating mainly in division and expect Jesus the kings to follow them you you be in the king you're disobeying God's word not coming in the unity of the faith and not you know uh, uh, doing what the word of God says and creating your own denominations to create more ideas of separation from the body of Christ you're doing all this stuff and you expecting God to do a great blessing and they're praying and you praying but God like the Bible says uh, the righteous prayer availed much now let me teach you about righteousness real quick righteousness is about following what's right that will do things in order you know what I'm saying it's it's, a, it's about righteousness about the if you do what's right it's supposed to get you in order with you know to what God you know blessings you know that's why, you know, Jesus came down. He's the way, the truth, and the life. He came us to show the way to the truth that we will have life if we follow his orders. Not we, you know, put Jesus on us and we start t telling orders, God, do this. God, do this for me. God, do this for me. You know what I'm saying? That's not how it works. No, we have to follow orders in order for the kingdom of God to get involved in our lives. That's how it works. That's how he created. If you want Jesus Christ in your life, you have to get in order. You can't be about, you know, your image and be about yourself and be about, you know, because that's what I'm seeing. Church is like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's crazy. Look at that. Methodist. What? And it's united in Methodist. Get out of here. All right, you need to get united in God's word and get united in the body of Christ that all Christians around the world needs to come to agreement with God's word and God's truth and say we stand on it, we're not moving off it. That's the true body of Christ. That's the message to God be the glory here forever and ever in Jesus' name. And they're all about fellowship. 1 Corinthians 15.
Oh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. Holla at you.